Well, hello everybody. Okay, so I am going to show you our Superior Mopping System, which is such a fantastic product and one of the products that draws people towards Norwex. With our Superior Mopping System, the great thing is that you are using mop pads that are made from our um, Norwex microfiber. And what's so fantastic about that? Well, these mop pads do a, fa a great job of picking up dust, dirt, grime, and with the wet mop pad, it um, can pick up 99% of bacteria that's left on our floors when it's used properly and cared for properly. So I'm gonna show you our mopping system. When you purchase the mopping system, you will it will come with two mop pads. It comes with our dry mop pad and it comes with our wet mop pad. There are other mop pads that you can purchase for different uses, but for today, I'm just gonna focus on those because that is with our mopping system. So you will get our telescopic um, handle. I love this handle for a few reasons. The main reason is that it is adjustable and it has a couple other neat features on it. You will also get, with the system, the base to it. They will come separately, so I will show you how to assemble them. Very, very simple. So when you assemble them, you are just going to press in the two little knobs there, and they will go down and then click into place. Then, once you have it assembled, the uh, telescopic handle is actually adjustable, which is great because then it's going to be used properly depending on the height of the person that uses it. So all you have to do is you hold the bottom and then you hold the other section and you just twist it, sorry, you just twist it and then it will, can go up and down. So you've unlocked it. And then what you wanna do is when you're using it, you typically want it between your nose, <laughs> you want it between your nose and your chin to make sure that it is at the right height. And then all you do to lock it back in place is you just twist it the opposite way. And then there you go. Another nice feature about this is it allows you to clean higher up places. So you can extend it fully, lock it in place, and then now you can get your ceiling. Let me step back here. So you can get your ceiling, you can get uh, ceiling fans, that sort of thing. And if you're outside, you can also get those hard to reach windows because we do have a window mop pad, which is made out of uh, the same material as our um, window cloths, which is great. So I'm just going to adjust this back before we move on. There we go. So the first one I'm going to show you is our dry mop pad. So this comes with our superior mopping system. This is a very soft microfiber. It's actually made of 80% or sorry, 85% um, recycled micro yarn, which is awesome. I love that. It, um, it uses static electricity to pick up the dirt, the dust, the grime, all of those tiny little particles that's on your floor, this will pick it up. And what I typically do before I use it is I actually give it a little bit of a charge to get it going. I'm just gonna step back here and then just pop it on the ground there. And what I do is I like to attach it to my mop pad, uh, not centered. And I will show you right here. So I will attach it so that it's off to the side. Reason for that is because it helps you also clean your baseboards. So when you are um, cleaning close to your baseboards, you can have it so that that extra lip flips up and then just snug it up against the wall there and then you can clean your baseboards like that. Such a great feature. So then when you are using this and using your dry mop, and it's highly recommended that you dry mop every time before you wet mop so that you can get up those extra bits before you tackle it with the wet mop. When you are dry mopping, you are going to want to do a figure eight motion. Reason for this is so that you're constantly trapping um, the dirt and the dust and all that stuff, dog fur, cat fur, uh, you're trapping it in the front. So you just continue going along and doing that figure eight motion. 
Then when you are all done, you will have a pile of dust at the top. You just lift this up and I always go along with a wet Enviro cloth and then I just scoop it up and it's gone. It's fantastic. You can actually use your dry mop pad multiple times before you need to um, wash it or, or uh, do a deep clean with it. One of the great ways to clean your mop pad when you are done is with our rubber brush, which is a great companion to the mopping system. And you can actually buy a system that is included or a rubber brush, brush is included. So when I am done with my dry mop, all I do is I take my rubber brush and I just brush off all of the dust, the pet fur and all that stuff that this collected and I brush it straight into the garbage. This works so well. So there you go. That's how I clean my dry mop pad in between uses. And I can use this guy for quite some time before I need to throw it in the washing machine. So there is the dry mop pad. Next, after I've dry mopped my uh, floor, I'm then going to use my wet mop pad. So this guy is made of um, uh, 70 percent recycled microfiber yarn which is fantastic and this one actually has backlock in it the dry mop pad does not have backlock in it but this one does because you're going to be getting this one wet so this one is not quite as fluffy as the other one but it's still got our fantastic working microfiber and when it's used properly and cared for properly it is going to pick up to 99 percent of the bacteria that's left on your floor so with this guy what you're going to want to do is get it wet before you use it. So I always put it under the tap. I get it nice and wet, but you're also going to want to make sure that you wring out majority of the water. So uh, you can wring it like this. A lot of people will actually roll it up and squeeze out the water this way as well. So just making sure you get out most of the water because one of the main reasons why streaks are left on floors after we clean them is when there's too much water that's used. Uh, another one of the reasons that streaks are left on floors is when we use chemical cleaning products that will leave uh, residue behind. There's always gonna be a little bit of residue left behind when you're using store-bought man-made cleaning products. It's just the way it is. So that's another reason why we'll see streaks on our floors. So again, once this guy's wet and wrung out, then I will attach it to my mop pad base and I am again going to um, attach it offside so that I can clean the baseboards as well. Uh, another thing is, is if you find it, sometimes people struggle with wetting their wet mop pad and wringing it out because it could be a bit of a task. What you can do is we have um, some Norwex squirt bottles. You can fill this with water so that you can either spray your mop pad before you use it or you can go along and spray the floor before you use it and do a mop and then spray again. So this guy comes in super handy if you find it hard to wring out the water. So when you are actually doing a wet mop, another, the third reason why we find streaks that are left behind after cleaning our floors is because of the method that we use when we clean. It's important that when you clean your floors with the wet mop pad, you're going to go in a different fashion than you used your dry. So your dry, you're doing figure eights with the wet mop pad, you're going to want to go with the grain of the floor. So my tiles run this way, so I'm going to go this way up and down. So you want to make sure that you're following the flow of your floor when you're using your wet mop pad. And then after you're done using your wet mop pad, just like the dry mop pad, you can um, just clean this out over your sink and you don't have to put it in the laundry machine after every single use. You can get a few uses out of this. So to clean this, what I do is I put it under running water. I rub it against itself just to kind of uh, loosen everything that it did pick up, all the bacteria that's in there, and then I wring it out. And then I make sure that I hang it to dry using the hook on here. You want to make sure that you hang it to dry. The reason for that is because it has our backlog system in it, and our backlog system will start to kill the bacteria that this has picked up once you've stopped using it. 
So it actually goes to work at killing the bacteria, which is fantastic. That's what we want. So then it's ready to go the next time that you need it. And another feature that is on our handle, which I didn't show earlier, is this fantastic little uh, disc there. This guy is used so that when you need to walk away, you can just set it down against your counter and the disc is going to stop it from falling over, which happens to me all the time. And then another feature is the rubber ball that's on the end. This is great for using to get off scuff marks. So if you have scuff marks on your floor, your baseboards or your walls, doors, that sort of thing, you can use this to actually get rid of those scuff marks. Pretty cool, eh? And then finally, another fun feature. Oh, actually, uh, another awesome feature that um, our base has is that you can actually lock it in place. So when we were doing the dry rot before, we were going back and forth and the base was able to swivel a bit. If you don't want the base to swivel, like if you are extending this and um, doing your ceilings or outside doing windows, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this locking system right here and you just push it down until it's in place and this won't swivel anymore, which is awesome. It's gonna keep it stationary. So that is a, an excellent tool. So it's gonna stop it from doing that, which helps a lot in certain situations. And then, because this can be taken off, we do have our Enviro wand, which can be put on the end of this, which is pretty awesome. So you just have to remove the handle. Oops, excuse me. You just remove the handle from the Enviro wand, which obviously I'm struggling with. There we go. And then you just attach the Enviro wand to the bottom of your telescopic handle. And now you have a dusting system to reach up super high places, ceiling fans, lights, fixtures, that sort of thing, the corners where your ceiling meets your walls. This guy will tackle it and get to it. So that's about it guys. That is our mopping system. Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me.